This morning, the Minnesota State High School League was set to vote on a proposed policy change involving transgender athletes. It has been the topic of passionate debate, and our 5 Eyewitness News reporter Kate Renner is live in Brooklyn Center. A lot happening there this morning, Kate, uh, scheduled to vote on this, but has not voted on this. Right, there were two very important votes, but they were not the votes we expected to happen. Now, the Minnesota State High School League voted to table the vote on this draft. This is the proposed draft that would change the policy on transgender students participating in high school athletics and sports. Now, the resounding theme among board members was this is too important. We have to get it right. That said, they asked for more time. So the second vote was then to appoint a committee to do more research before for the board's next meeting on December 4th. The meeting room was packed with standing room only. First, we heard from about a dozen members of the public. The league said they have gotten well over 10,000 emails on this issue and they've heard hours worth of testimony. So finally, we were able to hear from board members themselves on where they stand on this issue. Many agree a policy does need to be in place, but that more work is needed. But the public was much more clear on what they think needs to happen. If my son is allowed to participate on a sports team with the gender he identifies as, it will significantly impact his high school experience in such a positive way. When it comes to private uh, spaces, that we should consider boys, boys, and girls, girls. Now, the next Minnesota State High School League board meeting is December 4th. We are promised a vote will take place at that point, but a committee still needs to be appointed. That committee will have until mid-November to come up with the information that the board is looking for. Reporting live in Brooklyn Center, Kate Renner, 5 Eyewitness News. All right, Kate, thank you.